or get your hands around your belly. Find some length in your spine. So maybe walk your shoulders up a little higher or walk your booty down a little bit lower. Feel your shoulder blades against the mat. Feel your hips against the mat and feel what that feels like to have your hips and shoulders literally in line with each other because they're pressing into the mat. Good. And then bring your awareness to your breath. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, squeeze the air out. You can have an open mouth or a closed mouth for these first few breaths. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, squeeze the air out. And then seal your lips. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Feel your shoulders and the back of your head pressing into the mat. Exhale, squeeze the air out. And then let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Press in your shoulder blades, press in the back of your head. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Good. Then take your right leg nice and wide and take a half happy baby. So for my low back people, you can grab the inside of your knee. You can grab your foot. I want you to grab from the inside and bend that knee and then press your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot. Or the back of your knee into your hand, the back of your knee into your foot. Nice. And then come back to that breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. And then straighten this right leg out to the side. Press your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot. Feel that lengthening while also strengthening on your inner right groin. And if you're next to a wall, you can press your foot into the wall and make use of that. Come back to your breath, lifting and lengthening your spine, pressing in your shoulder blades in the back of your head. Nice. And then bring your right ankle to your left knee, just using your legs, pull your legs in towards your chest, Good. And then grab your left foot with your right hand, press your right knee away. Lift and lengthen your spine. And then exhale, press in the back of your head, the back of your shoulders. And then straighten your left leg, pull your left leg into your right ankle, your right ankle into your left leg. And then lift and lengthen, come back to your breath. Nice, and then bring that left foot down. Take your hands out to the side, pressing in your hands, pressing into the back of your head. And then twist over to the left and get that right foot on the mat. So feel that nice stretch along the right side of your low back maybe your right outer hip keeping your right foot pressed into the mat maybe take your left hand and press that right thigh away and farzane i want you in particular to notice how some of these things are feeling in your body Nice. And then come back to center. Plant that right foot. Lift and lengthen your spine. And take your left leg out in a wide, happy baby. So when you go nice and wide here, you're not going to irritate that front hip flexor. And then either grab the inside of your knee or the inside of your left foot. And then Press your right foot into the mat, press your left foot into your hand. Feel that stretching and strengthening in your outer left hip. And then 
we'll come back here, Brad. Nice. And then take your left leg out to the side straight. So wherever you can take it where it's straight, keep that right hip pressed into the mat. And then maybe you're grabbing your toes. Maybe you're grabbing the inside of your knee. Maybe you're making a shelf. But press your hand into your leg, your leg into your hand. And lengthen your spine. Exhale, breathe. Nice. And then take your left ankle onto your right knee. Press your palms down, lengthen your spine, and pull your legs in towards your chest. Pull your right knee into your left ankle. Press your left ankle into your right knee. And then hide your arms. And then grab your left foot, press that left knee away. Feel a little bit of a stretch. Your outer left hip. And then inhale, lift and lengthen. Send that right leg up. Pull your right leg into your left ankle. Your left ankle into your right leg. And then lengthen your spine. Take one more round of breath here. And then bring your right foot to the mat. Take your palms out to the side. And then keeping that pressure of your left ankle onto your right knee, twist over to the left. Notice the lengthening in your spine. Notice the opening in the left side of your body. And then if you want to increase the stretch, press your right hand into your left thigh, pressing it away from you. Come back to your breath. Take advantage of the fact that we're on the floor and on the ground and you can feel your spine lengthening against the earth. Nice. And then come back to center. Take a happy baby, taking your hands on the inside of your legs. So inside of your knees, inside of your feet, pressing your legs into your arms, your arms into your legs, maybe rocking from side to side. Nice. And then make your way all the way up. Good. And I'm gonna say, come on to your toes. Let's stretch our uh, ankles. And if it gets too much, you can kind of, you can come up and down a little bit. All right, so now I want you to start focusing on your shoulders. So today, if you have a block, I want you to grab it and put it in your hands. If you don't have a block, then you can take your hands, you can pretend it's a block. You can do pretend block. And then let's come on up. Pull your pelvic floor into your low back, lengthen your spine. And I want you to do a little bit of an experiment. So I'm gonna turn this way. So first, Pull the block towards you, and that's shoulder retraction. That's when your shoulder blades go back. And try and lift up, and you're not going to be able to go very far. I just want you to see how that works. Good. Now, like you're handing me the block, pull it away from you, push it away from you. Yes. Now, lift that block up. Nice. And then come back down. Good. Inhale, lift that block up. Nice. Come back down. And then one more time, I want you to inhale, lift that block up. And then see if you can soften by your neck. So I'm going to let go of the block for a minute. I want you to soften here. So not pull your shoulder blades down your back, but just soften at your neck. So you're not overly reached like this. And you're not overly down like this. So you're just softened by your neck. Nice. And then bring the block on down. And then we're going to try shoulder uh, protraction. So we're going to do shoulder strengthening. So you can do this with the block, but I think it might be harder. I want you to keep your arms straight. And if you want to put the block like on either side of your hands, if that helps you, Engage, you can do that. And then you're not gonna bend your elbows. You're gonna pull your shoulders back. You're gonna squeeze the air out. 
press it away. So pull your shoulders back. Press it away. Pull your shoulders back. Press it away. Good. And then let's take the same movement onto the mat. So I guess you could keep the block in between your hands. I just thought of that. That does help me squeeze my arms towards each other. So if you have a block, you could do that. And then same thing. I want you to lengthen your spine and then don't bend your elbows. Your elbows are straight. We're doing shoulder push-ups basically. So drop your chest and then press it away. So this is gonna help you build strength through planks and eventually chaturangas. Drop your chest. Press it away. Good, drop your chest. Press it away. And then walk your knees back a little bit. We're gonna come into puppy pose. So still pressing your hands into the block, into the mat. And then feel that your shoulders are on either side of your ears. Feel that lengthening in your spine. Nice, and then let's come back up. And a lot of you are going to stay on your knees, and then some of you are not. Okay. So if you're stronger and you want to maybe want to lift one knee, maybe you want to lift both knees. So I'm going to do this round with just one knee down, one knee up. If that's not enough for you, we're going to do a lot of work here. So you pace yourself. So same thing drop your chest and press away. Drop your chest, press away. Drop your chest, press away, switch knees. Drop your chest, press away. You're squeezing that block, drop your chest, press away. One more, drop your chest, press away. And then puppy pose or downward facing dog if you did plank. So we're just taking our time, but I'm sweating. Like we're not moving, but I'm sweating. So hopefully you feel this. Nice. And then one more time. So far as so you put the block between your hands. Because I want you to feel the sensation of pressing your hands towards the block. All right, so one more time. On your knees, lifting one leg and the other, or pressing all the way up. Good. And then drop your chest, press it away. Drop your chest, and then exhale. Squeeze the air out to use your breath. Inhale, drop. Exhale, press away. One more. Inhale, drop. Exhale, press away. And then puppy pose or down dog. I really want you to feel your shoulders and what they're doing. So um, if it hurts your wrists, then stay on your knees. Good. But feel that sensation of squeezing your hands in towards the block and then down into the mat. And then, of course, you feel the stretch in the back of your legs, of course. Your arms are on either side of your ears. Okay. And then just come to plank or part way to plank. And then push the floor away and back to down dog. Good. And then come forward to plank. Push the floor away, back to down dog. Good. And then come forward to plank. And then I'm going to say, like, Vicky King and Vince, if you want to do a uh, chaturanga here, I'm going to just go back to down dog. But you could draw that in. Press the floor way back to down dog or chaturanga up dog, down dog. Nice. And then let's drop your knees. Well, everyone else, let's come down to the floor. Take your hands by your side. Good. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your arms, squeeze that air out so you get a little bit more length. And then exhale, come on down, right arm on top of the left, bend your knees, go from side to side. Nice. And then hands next to you again. So inhale, lift and lengthen your chest. Add your arms and then squeeze the air out with your low belly. Squeeze your booty to protect your low back. And then left arm on top of right. Turn your head the other way. Bend your knees. Go from side to side. Good. 
Nice. And then slide your fingertips next to your chest. Hug your elbows against your body. Press on up to all fours. Step your right foot forward. Take this nice shortened stance. If you need to go a little bit wider, go a little bit wider. And then just like we've been doing, press your feet into the mat. Force it around your hands. And then reach or without the block. If you like, if that's helping you today, I want you to reach forward, press in your feet and up. And exhale down. And inhale up. And exhale down. And then block or blocks on either side of your right leg. Keeping that length in your spine. So that's why I like the blocks. And then just come forward. And back. Forward. And back. Good. Come forward. Nice. And then back to all fours. Press the floor away. Come to puppy pose or downward facing dog. So press the floor away, come to puppy pose or downward facing dog. Good. Be mindful of your hand position, right? Do you like having your hands turned out? Do you like having your hands neutral? Do you like having them turned in? Good. Come forward to plank. Press the floor away, down dog. Good. Come forward to plank or plank on your knees. You know your body. Press the floor away, down dog. And then again, this last one, come forward to plank. Press the floor away. And then do chaturanga or let's just come back to down dog. So chaturanga up dog, down dog, but you press in the floor away and then we'll meet in down dog. Nice. And then let's come on to all fours. Step your left foot forward. Good job, you guys. So nice shortened stand. I want you to squeeze that right glute. I want you to press into that left foot like there's a spider that's just gonna attack you. And then corset your hands. Yes, to go nice and wide. If you need to put, if you need to roll your mat over, Melissa, because your knee hurts, then roll your mat over. Good. So lift and lengthen your spine. Pull your pelvic floor towards your sacrum. Nice. And then one foot without a block. Reach away and up. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So I just want you to notice right now how your shoulders feel reaching more forward. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then both blocks, one block, fingertips on the floor. Pull that right hip back. Keep your spine. In line, come forward, come back, come forward, come back, nice. And then make your way onto all fours, regular plank or plank on your knees, nice. Come forward and down, nice. and then let's do Low cobra first. So hands next to you, no weight in your hands. Press in your feet. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And then grab your arms and come up. And then come back down. So hands are next to you, elbows are hugging in. Lift your spine and then add your arms. And then exhale, come on down. Good. Lengthen and lift your spine and add your arms. Nice. And then come back onto all fours. Puppy pose, child pose, downward facing dog. If you're doing down dog, I want you to press the floor away and then as if I'm pulling your hips back, maybe lift your heels, maybe pedal out your legs, feel that nice length in your spine, whatever you're doing. Nice. And then we're gonna make our way into a nice forward fold. So step your feet to the front of the mat. Some of you are gonna stay in flat back. Bars and A. Yes. 
Where if you're lengthening your spine, maybe pull your hips back. Some of you are going to fold if that feels good on your back. Nice. I'm going to do what you're doing first, nice. So you don't even feel any guilt. And then weave your arms up. Bring your hands to your heart. Okay. So I had this idea for Car's Day, and anyone who wants to try it, let's try putting your booty on the wall. And doing a fold. Just see how that feels. See if that takes, for me, it took some of the pressure out of the uh, out of my spine. Keep your legs a little wider apart, Teresa. And just grab your elbows. Just see how that is. Pressing your butt into the wall, having that extra support. And then bend your left knee to right. Bend your right knee, turn left. Good. And then inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Okay. And then before we start with our lunges, I want to take our feet wide. We're going to open up our inner thighs again. Hands in prayer. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Open. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, open. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, open. Nice. And then inhale, come all the way up. Step to the front of your mat, and we'll do some lunges. So press into those feet, lift those toes, drop them down, dig that hip region into your sacrum. And then inhale, take your arms forward and up. Good. Exhale, flat back or fold. Inhale, flat back, hands on your knees, lengthen that spine. Good. Exhale, hands to prayer, step that right foot back into crescent lunge. Take a moment here, make sure your left foot is parallel with the middle, make sure your right leg is wide enough, and then let your hips just go where they go. Just bring your chest forward. Good. And then inhale, reach those arms forward and up. Nice. Hands to the mat. Downward facing dog first. Good. Come forward to plank. Press the floor away. And then I'm going to say Vince and Vicky and maybe Debbie do a little uh, shoulder push up. Everyone else just come into down dog. Nice. And then take that right leg up behind you, press it in towards the sky, and then just open up your legs. Keep it feeling at first so your hands are even, so you're not cranking your back. Then bend your knee, you can open your hips. So you're only twisting in the center of your spine. Good. And then step your right foot forward. You can come onto your knees or you can step it through. And then with your block, or with your fingertips, come into that nice lunge. So lengthening your spine, good. Squeezing your legs towards each other, and then left foot to right, palm to flat back. Stay there or fold. And then inhale, sweep your arms up. Pressing those feet long tops into space and then hands to your heart. Good, press near your feet, lift and lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, flat back or fold. Good, inhale, flat back, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands to prayer, bring that left foot back and a little bit to the left. Good. Let your hips be natural and then just bring your chest forward. Good. And then pull your low belly towards your sacrum. Sweep your arms forward and up. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the mat. Come to downward facing dog. Next. Then come forward. Part way to plank, Marion, or all the way to plank. And then if you're feeling sassy, you can do those shoulder presses. You can do your chaturanga if you want, Vicky. I won't do it from it. 
And then we'll all just meet in downward facing dog. So whatever feels right to you. Nice, step breath. And now let your head relax. Let your neck relax. Good. Keeping, clawing the mat with your hands. Bring that left leg up and straight. You could be on your knees if you need to. And then just bring that left leg over, like visiting your right leg. It's still straight. We're not cranking our spine. Then just bend your knee. Nice, Teresa. Good. Nice, Vicky. And then come onto your knees and step your left foot forward or step your left foot forward. This does not make you a better yogi. You can step your foot forward. It just means your hips are more open. And then lift that back leg. Lengthen your spine. So hold that pelvic floor to your sacrum. Nice. Bring your right foot to your left. Calm the left back. Hands on your hips, stay there or fold. Whatever you like. And then inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. We're going to do the same thing one more time. But this time, knee down. Step your feet. Inhale, arms up. Look up, squeeze your booty. Exhale, come to flat back or fold. Inhale, I'm going to cheat and use my blocks here. Step your right foot back. And if you want to drop your knee and if it feels better for you to keep your knee lifted, keep your knee lifted. I'm giving you options, which probably is messing you up, but that's okay. So squeeze your booty, press near your feet, lengthen your spine. And then sweep your arms up. Exhale, lift your chest, open your heart. Nice. And then come to the mat, come to plank or plank on your knees. We're gonna move into forearm plank. So come all the way down. And then interlace your hands and come to sphinx. So press in your elbows, your wrists, and then inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. So I want you to feel your shoulders lift. Good. Then lift your hips or your hips and your knees. And then here, I want you to do shoulder ups here. So lower and lift your chest, lower and lift. So your shoulders more than your, not your hips, your shoulders, yeah. I'm doing it on my knees, I'm just saying. Come all the way down. Release your hands, grip the mat, press in your elbows, lift and lengthen your spine. And inhale, do itself, pull your belly in and up protect your booty. Nice. Right, let's do that one more time. So if it was weird for you, just, just lift your knees. So press in your forearms, lift your chest, and then lift your hips, and then drop your shoulders and up and down. So shoulder presses. So we're not that worried about, yeah, I'd rather you do it on your knees and be like, oh, okay, this makes sense. Nice. And then come all the way down. Release your hands, claw the mat, inhale, lift and lengthen your spine, and then exhale, pull your pelvic floor towards your sacrum, protect your low back. Nice, and then bring your chest towards the mat, hug your elbows in, step your right foot forward. And then lift and lengthen your spine, reach up, and then pull your elbows down like your Hercules. Nice. And then let's come together and apart. Together and apart. Together and then lift your elbows, pull your belly in and up. Nice. And then fingertips to the floor or hands on blocks. Lift your back leg. Lengthen your spine and then left foot to right, come to flat back. Stay there, we'll fold. And then inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more time on the other side, lift and lengthen. Exhale, flat back or fold. Inhale, flat back. 
Grab your hips, lengthen your spine. Good, then hands to prayer, step that left foot back and a little wider than you think. And then drop your knee or not. I forgot that I dropped my knee. I totally caught myself. Press me your feet, corset your spine, lift and lengthen. Nice, and then sweep your arms up. Good, and then pull your elbows down. And up, and down, and up, and down, and then bring your elbows together and lift. Nice. And then make your way onto all fours, if, or if you want to do regular plank, we're going to make our way back into forearm plank. So I'm just going to come forward on my knees, pull my belly in and up, and come all the way down. Nice. And then interlace your hands again. Pull your elbows apart, so feel that strengthening your outer shoulders. And then just lift your hips, or lift your hips and your knees. What I'm focusing on, I'm just core and shoulder strength. So then do that protraction and retract. So drop your chest, retract, pull your chest away. Drop your chest. Expand your shoulders. Drop your chest. Expand your shoulders and then come all the way down. Release your hands, grip the mat, press in your elbows, your forearms, lift your chest, inhale. Exhale, pull that pelvic floor towards your sacrum. Okay, right, one more time. Interlace your hands. Lift your hips. If you want to try lifting your knees, you can, but I just want you to get the sense of strengthening your shoulders. And then drop, press away. Drop, exhale, press away. Drop, press away, release your hands, release your belly, grip the mat, inhale, lengthen your spine. So feel your chest lift like you're like a snake coming up out from a snake hole, right? And then pull, exhale, pull your pelvic floor towards your low back. Nice. Slide your hands back. Good. And then come into downward facing dog. Send that left leg up behind you. Bring it over to the side. Bend your knee, open your hip. Nice. And then step that left foot through. Drop your knee. Good. So I think I did this in reverse order. So just press into your feet, sweep your arms up, pull your sacrum to your spine. Nice. And then hands to the mat or hands to blocks, lift your back leg. Come to flat. Nice. Stay there or fold. And then inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Nice. And then from here, let's step our feet wide. So take your feet in line with the soft, short ends of the mat. Good. And then let's not forget, pressing into your feet, digging into that pelvic region, bringing it towards your back. Good. And then turn your right foot out. And then Reach your arms forward and up. And then let's pull down. Reach up. Pull down. So exhale, pulling your pelvic floor to your low back. Reach up. Okay, and then pull down. And then you're going to send your left arm out and your right arm out, but pull your shoulder blades down and together. And it kind of feels yucky and it's kind of hard but it's the strengthener. And then bend your front knee. Nice, and then let's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. And then sweep your hands down to the mat, come to downward facing dog. Nice. And then let's come forward to plank or plank on your knees. Come all the way down. And then we're going to do cobra or up dog. So first lift your chest, then add your arms lift. And then come on down. Lift and lengthen your chest, then add your arms. Good, come on down. Lift and lengthen your chest. So if it hurts your hands, don't add your arms a lot. If it doesn't hurt your hands, go to 
Cobra, if you want to go to up dog, I don't like that, but you can come all the way down. Nice. And then send your arms behind you. Let's hook your thumbs, open your shoulders a little bit. And if you want to add your legs, add your legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Next. And then make your way all the way on up. Good. Come into downward facing dog. Press your hands equally. So come part way to plank, break the mat, send your leg back, and then send that right leg up behind you. And then just bring your right leg straight over to the left. So keeping it straight, bring it over to the left. Then bend your knee. Everyone looks really good. Good. And let's do right knee to right elbow. Bring it back. Right knee to left elbow. Bring it back. Good. And then on all fours, step your right foot forward or just step your right foot into warrior two. And I think we did this side, so now I'm just going to turn the other way. So now your left foot is forward. I can't really figure out any other way to do that and be facing the right direction, so. So left foot is in line with the long edge of the mat. Right foot is in line with the short edge of the mat. Look at your own feet. See if that is happening. Good. Dig into your pelvic region. Bring it towards your low back. Good. And then reach your arms up. And then pull down. So feel that pulling down and pulling in. Lift. Pull down. Good. Lift. Pull down and then keeping this pulling down and pulling in. Send your left arm forward, your right arm back. Look at your fingers and breathe. Good. And then in, lift, exhale, bend. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Now pull your arms away from each other. See how that feels. It's kind of nice. Good. And then down to the mat. Down dog, rest, or plank on around the up dog, down dog. Nice. And then from down dog, downward facing dog, come part way to plank. Rip them out with your hands and then press back like you're in. Take your time, Vicky. Press back like you're in a handstand. So pressing your spine straight. Good. And I might be on the wrong leg, but I'm going to say send your left leg up behind you. Keep it straight. Bring your chest towards your thigh. And then open up your open up your hips. So you can go on all fours, Deb Rauscher, if you want. Yeah. And then bend your left knee there, making sure you're just twisting in the middle of your back. Good. And then left knee to the left elbow. Bring it back. Left knee to right elbow. Bring it back. And then on all fours, step that left foot through or without going to all fours, step your left foot through. And now turn the other way. Okay, so you know I'm wonky, so nothing's changed. And then look at your own feet. So your right foot is parallel with the side of the mat. And then Deborah, after bring your left foot back to the parts of the bookshelf. Yes, your left foot is parallel with the short edge of the mat. Good. All right, and then pull your pelvic floor in and up. Bend your right knee, and then this time send your right arm forward, your left arm back, and reach them away from each other. So more of a protraction. See how that feels. Look at your fingers. Breathe. Inhale. Lift and lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Lift and lengthen. Exhale. And then take your hands on your waist. Turn your your uh, chest towards your right knee. Don't crank it. Let that left hip face the ground. And then let's come to the side. Take your form on your thigh, press it away. Press in your feet, lengthen your spine. And then take that left arm in front of you, reach it off next to your ear. 
Good, so don't force your hips to crank open. One long line of energy from your left foot to your right. Nice. And then reach that left arm up, straighten your right leg, take your right hand to the back of your right leg. Reach those arms away from each other. Pull your pelvic floor towards your sacrum. Nice. And breathe. Nice. And then hands to the mat. Come to down dog. Take a rest or plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, or any of the other options. Nice. And then one more time on this side. So either on your knees or in down dog, take that left leg up behind you, bring your left leg all over towards your right, keeping it straight, pressing equally in your hands before you do anything else. Then bend your knee. Nice. Re-engage into those hands. Bring your chest towards your right leg. Good. And then left knee to left elbow. Bring it back. Left knee to right elbow. Bring it back. Left foot through. And then I'm going to turn around. We're doing for dancing. So just one hand is in line with the long edge of the mat. Heel is lined up with the arch of your back heel. Right foot is in line with the short edge of the mat. So look at your own feet. Good. And then bend your right knee, lift and lengthen your spine, press into your feet. And then add that right arm, add that left arm, and pull them away from each other. Look at your fingers, breathe. Nice. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Nice. And then hands on your waist. Twist your chest towards that left leg. And then come on down. Press that left elbow into your left thigh. Press into that back foot. And then reach that right arm forward and up. Or, or by your ear, actually. So one long line of energy from your right foot to your right hand. Nice. Breathe. Nice. And then reach that right arm up. Take that left leg in the back of your left thigh, maybe on a block. If you can reach all the way down without cranking your side body, you can reach all the way down. I like to stay on my spine. Good. Press near your feet. Lengthen your side body. Nice. And then hands to the mat. Take a down dog. And then however you want to get there, make your way into a child's pose. However you want to get there, make your way into a child's pose. Good job, you guys. Okay, and then I want to work on Bakasana on our back, seated, and then maybe regular Bakasana. So come on to your back. And I want you to put the soles of your feet together. Pull your knees into your chest. And let's start by taking your hand behind your head and neck and just lift your chest towards your leg. So if you have neck issues, then just keep your hands here. That's fine. Four. Reach your arms and squeeze your legs onto your arms. Squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Nice. And then take a happy baby. Drop from side to side. Nice. So that's more abdomen and a little bit of hip flexor. Then either stay there. So no judgment, right? Or come on up. We'll do it seated. So soles of the feet together. I want you to lift and lengthen your spine before you do anything. Good. And take your knees out. Come up onto your toes. And then bring your knees to your arms. And then press your chest open. Nice. Lengthen in that spine. Good job. And then soles of the feet together. Lift and lengthen. 
and fold. Nice. And then maybe do that one again, okay? So maybe on your back, maybe seated. Or, okay, so watch, watch, and then you can do it if you're gonna do it. Feet are together. Then you lift and lengthen your spine. If your hands aren't on the ground, you lift and lengthen your spine. You scoot your arms underneath. And then you come down and keep that length. You keep your feet together you, and you just shift your weight forward. So either try it, crow on your back, seated crow. You can do um, something else. You could do boat pose. You could skip the whole thing. Nice, lengthen that spine, Marianne. Yeah. And then take a rest. All right, so Vince, I couldn't see you guys, so I hope it went well. I'm just gonna give you a thumbs up. Mm. Nice. All right, let's, um, all right, let's do um, normal pose. So tuck your toes under. Squeeze your booty, lift and lengthen your spine. Nice. And then roll your shoulders in, up, and lift your heart. In, up, and lift your heart. And then maybe fingertips together, elbows together. Squeeze your booty. And just bring your chest back, weevil back. And forward. Back. And forward. And then back. Stay there. Or bring one hand to your ankle, bring your left arm up. Pull your pelvic floor into your back, squeeze your booty. Nice. Inhale, come on up, stretch your heels a little. Nice. Vicky King's praying that class ends soon. It is ending soon. Good. Inhale, come on up, squeeze your booty. Good. Roll your toes in and up and lift your heart. Roll your toes in, up, lift your heart. Fingertips together, elbows towards each other. We go back, lifting your heart and forward. So maybe this is what you're doing, and then that's perfect. We go back and forward. So if you have one people back, this is where you're going to stay. We go back, stay here, squeeze your booty, or bring your left hand to your left heel, bring your right arm up. And if you're feeling super sassy, bring that right hand onto your left ankle. And re lift your chest. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Nice. And then let's take a little child's pose. And then we're going to do pigeon. Good. So just take a moment, feel your body connected with the floor, and then yogi choice with the pigeon. So you can go back to how we started on our back, right? You can do 90 90. Or you can just do regular pigeon. Whatever feels good in your body is what I want you to do. So I'm gonna do 90-90 just because I, I like it. So take your legs nice and wide, lift your chest, and then shift over to the right. Bring that back and back a little bit more, Marianne. Good, and then bring your weight forward so that your shin and your ankle are equally on the mat. Walk your hands forward. And if you want, you can take your left hip and rotate it forward and back. That's for you, Teresa. You can hang out here. But press that right shin into the mat, that right ankle into the mat. Nice. And then walk your hands over to the left. Pressing into your hands, keeping that length in your spine. And then walk your hands. Oh, I said left, but I meant right. And then walk your hands over to the right. So do what I say, not what I do, or vice versa. It doesn't matter. Right. And then inhale, come on up. Windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Good. And then go the other way or take the other pose. So left shin is parallel with the short edge of the mat, right? Uh, knee and thigh is also parallel with the short edge of the mat, unless that hurts for you. And then bring your weight forward. 
so that your shin and ankle are equal on the mat. And then press in your hands, press in that shin and ankle, or if you want to rock that right hip forward and back. So I'm keeping some weight in my hands, so I have some length in my spine, and I can also press into my left shin. Nice. Then walk your hands over to the left, and I really kind of go to the left this time. Get a nice twist. Breathe, walk your hands over to the right. Get a little side body. Nice, come on up. And then let's just make our way on to our backs. We'll finish up. Good. Nice. So let's straighten your legs and just pull your right knee in towards your shin. Good. And then pull that right knee across. Right arm out, give a nice final twist and release. If you'd rather have both knees together, if that feels better, you can do that. Lengthen your spine. Good. Come back to center. Straighten your right leg. Pull that left shin in. Pull your shoulder blades down your back, press into that right foot, and then take that left knee across. Release anything that's not serving you. Release patterns that aren't helpful for you. And then come back to center, spread out on the mat. And I'm just going to say it's 9.59, so I might take it five more minutes, and if you have to go, then just stay here for a few seconds, and then you can scooch out, and I won't feel bad. So take your right hand on your belly, your left hand, um, or take your right hand on your pelvic floor, your left hand on your belly. Settle into the space. And then just start to notice the natural flow of your breath. Notice if you're breathing more into your right hand, into your belly, or more if you're breathing up into your chest. If there's one area that you're favoring, or if you just naturally breathe equally into your low belly and to your chest. No judgment, no changing. Then notice, slide your hands to each side. So now you're more on the right side of your belly, the left side of your belly. Notice if you breathe more into the right half of your body or the left half of your body. No judgment without changing it. And then send your breath to the area that's not inflating enough. So equally have your breath. Send your breath to the area that's not expanding on its own naturally. So now I'm trying to change the pattern, trying to make the breath equal. But don't force it and don't stress about it. And then just notice how it feels having equal breath.
And then taking one more round of breath here as you're ready. So knee to one side, hugging your knees to your chest. Seeing what you've learned about your body today, about your mind, about your breath. And without judgment, just take that in. And then gently pressing on up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting up tall, bringing your hands to your heart. Thank you all so much for showing up today for your awesome practice. And namaste.